Nice game, Matsuzaka and the Mets are opening up a four-game series with the Braves at City Field. Bottom three, New York reaches it one to nothing, and David Wright will add to that. He'll take Mike Miner deep to left field for a solo shot. That's number seven on the year for Wright, and his first since June 19th, two nothing amazes. And Daisuke Matsuzaka will deliver his best start of the season. Top four with one on and two down, Mike Miner will strike out to end the inning. In the fifth, Met killer Freddie Freeman goes down. That ends the frame. In the seventh, Matsuzaka caps off his evening by striking out B.J. Upton. Matsuzaka delivers his longest outing of the year with seven scoreless innings. Mike Miner caps off his night by striking out Travis Darno. He retires his final 13 batters faced after the right home run, but he's done after seven. Top eight now, it's a two to one ball game. Atlanta has one on and two out against Henry Mejia. And Chris Johnson steps up and delivers a deep drive to center field that goes off the top of the wall for an RBI double as Jason Hayward scores to tie the game at two. After an intentional walk to Tommy LaStella, Christian Betancourt makes the Mets pay as he singles into right field. Chris Johnson comes in to score. LaStella is caught up in a rundown in between second and third to end the inning, but Atlanta has its first lead of the evening at 3-2. But that does not last long. Bottom eight, Curtis Granderson steps in against Luis Avila. Granderson cracks one to deep right field. Back goes Hayward to the warning track at the wall. It's out of here! Curtis Granderson ties the game! Nodded at three, and that home run ensures that Mike Miner remains winless since May the 19th. Bottom nine now. The Mets have the leadoff man aboard for Ruben Tejada. He's facing Shea Simmons. Tejada drops down the bunt. The Braves appear to at least get the force at second base, but hold on a second. Terry Collins wants to challenge this. The umpires take another look, and they deem that Angelton Simmons came off of second base, so Eric Campbell is safe. The Mets have first and second. With nobody out, Freddy Gonzalez does not like the overturned call, and he is promptly ejected from the game. But New York could not end the game in nine innings. With the bases loaded and two down, Eric Young will ground out to the right side, and we would have extra innings in flushing. Bottom 11, though, New York threatens again with two on and two out for Tejada, who steps in against Anthony Barbaro. And Tejada lines a base hit, and the Mets win the ball game. Lagaris comes in to score. Tejada, who had the last walk-off hit for the Mets back in May, wins it for the Mets at the bottom of the 11th. Four to three Mets is your final as Tejada delivers his fourth career walk-off base hit. New York has now won three of its last four games, and Carlos Torres delivers two scoreless innings of relief to pick up the win.